Good morning from Capone Cabin. How is everyone today? It's a little early, but I'm going to be collecting broadleaf plantain that is all over the place out here. Um, going to be mainly collecting the seeds because they've kind of gone to seed and I'm just going to gently pull. Okay, watch. If you gently pull on this stem, they kind of just come off. These seeds can be added to bread, oh, crackers, you can make a tea. They're rich in vitamins. Whoops, and I pulled the whole thing. I will get those later. They have a nutty flavor. Like I said, really rich in vitamins. And look how quickly um, they do. Let me put you down for a minute. I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste seed. Even though I have a, I have a, oh my God. I have a field of this, so I'm happy. Oh, sometimes the whole thing comes off, but what you want to do is just gently, I needed really to hold the stem with one hand. I need a, I need a film crew really to hold the camera and I don't take all the seed why well I want this all to grow back yeah so all right wild grass I'm just gonna keep pulling seed until I get a lot of seeds because like I said these are great for breads and crackers and um, sprinkle on your if you're an oatmeal person that's a great thing. Do your oatmeal. God, I see dandelion. There's so much food. Anyway, we will start collecting these. And then I'll show you with the leaves and the, um, the little berries here, the little seeds. I'm going to dry them in the dehydrator. And you want to get the seeds, by the way. I don't know if this is picking up on camera because the sun is coming up. These are brown, whether they look like it or not, they're brown. And that's when you want to harvest the seeds, these beautiful seeds, when they're nice and brown. Okay, now I'm going to collect the leaves, but I had to put my boots on after I just got three new fire ant bites. But I was out here in flip-flop, so might have kind of deserved that one. Um, I'm looking for a good, a good leaf. Well, there are a lot of good leaves. And they're really dirty, but we're going to wash them, obviously. I'm going to pick the leavies. With hopefully not getting bit. But I got my boots on. So... Fire ants, I'm ready for ya, you little bug heads. <sighs> kind of hard to pick leaves and film. That's a first. Like I said, we need a film crew. Any volunteers? It seems like all you younger guys and ladies... Guys and girls, guys and gals are so much better at this than me. Was not raised in this era. But I'll definitely challenge you to ping, uh, um, oh God, I can't even think this morning. Pinball. Jeez, I knew it would come to me in a minute. Maybe I haven't had enough coffee this morning. Or it was... Being attacked by fire ants already today. 
I got to do something. I got to treat this field. I don't want to. I definitely. Oh, aren't you beautiful? I don't want to, but, you know, this is uh, planting land also. And for those of you who are so, and I get it, very anti-pesticide. I mean, me too. But, you know, you can't come out here. For those of you not familiar with fire ants, they will attack you. And they also can swarm you. And people have died um, going into anaphylactic, blah, anaphylactic shock because they'll just, one sends another and sends another. And like if you fall, let's say you're an older person and you fall and you're having, takes you a hot minute to get up. Well, you know, in that time, you can have hundreds swarming you. So my theory, you know, if it's that much detrimental, is I'm higher up on the food chain. And I've said this before, um, you know, I'm not going to be taken out by an ant. So whatever... You know, your opinion. Um, I keep getting... Actually, I'm brushing up against something. I don't know, but it's... Every now and then, it's burning my arm. Um, look at the... Look, you can pick a salad in, like, minutes. Minutes! And that's just this. I've got other... I've got other stuff out here it is so hot you guys already I mean already it is so hot I just haven't been out here all that long and I'm already dying and the air conditioner which is brand new it's a year old in the camper has quit so apparently over the winter it wasn't happy about something I don't know because it worked we had tried it you know when we got the camper set up it worked great turned it on this spring nothing okay let's take what I got back I could stay out here all day picking beautiful okay I have soaked the plantain leaves um people wonder why i say plantain it's actually pronounced plantain just like the banana looking fruit but for some people that live in other countries they get really confused by that so i say plantain a lot of dirt came out these are the leaves that i am not using and anything that's got that's not dirt those are like little bug eggs do you see the, the bumps? Yeah. Anything that looks janky. Those are little eggies. Anything that looks weird, I don't um, do. But these are my good ones. Whoops, sorry. I keep bouncing you guys around. And I'm laying them. I've already got two trays done. This is my third tray on my dehydrator and I am just using my dehydrator is the Presto dehydrator again you know um a lot of people recommend very expensive hydrators um you do you for me um I don't I I've got a Presto canner pressure canner that my god that thing's like a beast it has done so much never had a problem um you know you're kind of talking to a person who was raised canning literally my grandmother is a cur so you know as far as canning it did not take fancy equipment um, the simple is 
fine. Um, the Presto dehydrator, I've been totally happy with it. I don't need to spend a fortune on things. Like I said, put your priorities in order too. Our house is not finished. I'm not spending a bunch of money. Number one, I never spend money that's just tossing it into the air. Um, number two, I don't need what the market tells me is the latest, greatest, best, whatever. Um, I am 58 years old and been around long enough and around this stuff, you know, pressure canning. Like I said, my grandmother was a cur, so literally I was standing at the counter on a chair that they would pull up, learning that at a very early age. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of canning, don't mean to offend anybody, but there's a lot of canning Nazis out there that really sort of, I understand, but yeah, you do you. I mean, I'm more like, you know, nay, nay, don't listen to every single thing. Please research yourself. That's what I keep telling people. Do your research. Um, knowledge is power. So I'm going to dehydrate these leaves. I'm going to do the seeds that I collected in the toaster oven. Of course, the camper does have an oven. Never used it. Won't. Um, the camper is 20 years old, although it looks like the oven has actually never even been used. I'm not a fan of propane anything. This winter, we used electric heaters that I bought that are RV safe. Um, we have not had the propane lines tested, pressure tested, leak tested, whatever. So I'm not turning it on. You know, this is not a permanent camper. This is going right back up for sale the minute we can move in that house. Um, we're not camper people. Sorry. No offense meant. But after, you know, being here for six months, we're not camper people. We want out. So anyway, when these are dry, this this will make great tea and um, salve. You can do tinctures. I encourage you, if you want to know more, please look it up online, Broadleaf Plantain. Look it up online and just do your due diligence and see if that's something you're, you're interested in. But I'm going to go ahead and dry these. So y'all have a good day. Love you. Peace out.